Hey, this is Donnie. And this is Jess. And in this video, we're going to tell you about using a clay bar, how that can actually ruin your paint. So we've all heard how well clay bars work for removing the contaminants on paint. And I agree, they can work like magic, but if you don't use them correctly, they can actually do more damage than good. Clay bars work really great to remove contaminants from your paint. These contaminants could be anything from the environment to overspray in a paint shop. But if it is dropped on the ground, you may as well be rubbing your car down with 80 grit sandpaper, causing severe scratches. So yeah, if you drop this on the ground, be sure and throw it away. I mean, you might pick it up and not see any of the dirt on there, but even one tiny piece of sand or dirt caught in the clay bar, and you go to rubbing your paint, uh, you're gonna have scratches all over it, and it's gonna ruin your paint job. So if you drop it, toss it. You should also remember that before using a clay bar, you should wash the car to remove as many of your contaminants as possible. And if you remember from the previous video, we had washed the hood already, so the hood is washed and ready to go. This is a clay bar by Clay Magic, and this is a fine grade. And you'll notice, depending on what brand you have, they all come in some type of a little bag that's sealed, some come in boxes. And that's to keep this clean. When you're not using this, be sure to keep this closed up so you don't get any dirt in there. You don't have to use the whole clay bar. We can use just a piece of this. So we're going to tear a piece off. And Jess is going to show you what to do with it. She's just going to roll it in a ball, uh, and then she's going to flatten it out and kind of make a pancake out of it, kind of make a flat surface of the clay bar. It'll make a good uh, pad to wipe the paint with. And it's also probably a good idea to wash your hands. You know, if your hands have a lot of dirt and stuff on them, you don't want that getting into the clay bar. Good. Yep. So you can see now that she has a nice flat pad, and that will make it easy to to use on the paint. And also, depending on some of these come with kits that have detail spray, uh, we're just gonna use water. You want something on there to lubricate it though. You don't wanna use it dry. So we're gonna spray some water on there. Doesn't take a whole lot. And now she's just gonna start rubbing it on the paint surface. Now you can feel with your hand, there's kind of a fuzzy, kind of a rough feel. That uh, means that there are still some contaminants on here. And once you uh, remove those, it becomes real slick. And also keep in mind, when you're removing all that, you're removing all the waxes and everything. So if you're doing this, if you're using a clay bar, you want to make sure that you come back and wax this or polish it or finish it out with something like that. And while using the clay bar, you'll notice that when you've freed it of all contaminants, it's going to glide kind of like an air hockey table. If it's not free, it's going to feel kind of sticky. And also, uh, you can see that she's just working this. She does not push it down real hard. You don't have to do a lot of the work. The clay bar does the work. So you just gently go over it and it'll remove it. And like she said, once it's uh, free of all contaminants, it'll feel real smooth. And you can see, even though this has been washed, it's picking up stuff on there. So you want to do a little section at a time and then you want to fold it over and then start over. You know, you can make another ball and make another pad just to make sure that you keep a clean surface. So we just did a quick demonstration of how to use this, but our main point of this video is, is to keep this clean. And if you drop it, be sure and throw it away because that can ruin a paint job. Thanks for watching and be on the lookout for our next video. So we've all heard, we've all heard. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I see many bloopers on this. <laughs> Paint. These contaminants could be anything from environment, environmental. <laughs> I do that a lot of it. Uh. <laughs> no. But if it's dropped on the ground. <laughs> yeah. The Dropping. But if dropped. I don't know if I'll get the same info <laughs> there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and, and whenever you get it, and, and, and. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I said it like three times before. <laughs>